good practices. They are essential to have a safe and enjoyable dive. When it comes to diving, no way you can get into the water and not have it. You will put in danger your life. Example, check your equipment. Before the dive, how much hair do I have? My weights. Basic stuff. For the good practices to learn them, we take certifications. Open water diver, if you are with mass, you have the first, uh, second, or star. During the certification, you practice that more and more. You learn, and then you put into action in the water. Those don't limit to dive, of course, but you have them for coding as well. Some are called DevOps, development, operation, and then you put that together. Good idea to learn it. For that, I just uh, cleared the uh, IBM uh, DevOps and Software Engineering Certification. And in this video, we will discuss the final capstone project, where you put into practice all what you learned during the 14 courses. So, let's not wait further and let's dive in the code. The DevOps Capstone Project. This is the final course of the IBM DevOps and Software Engineering Certification. 14 courses in total, not for faint-hearted. It will take months to complete. And there we go. Here, where you put everything into practice. First good thing that you learn is to plan in an agile way. In this case, we do that using ZenHub, a tool for a Kanban board. And here is the board for the final DevOps Capstone project. Of course, all the tasks have been moved already to done or to closed, as you can see here. I just kept this as an example. We call it a user story and it has a set and criteria, it has a description. You can have uh, here the label, the assignees, in your case, it's just yourself, because it's not done in a team, but it's a very useful tool that integrates very well with GitHub. Then you will do the coding. To do that, uh, uh, you don't need to install anything in your computer. That is for all the courses given by IBM on Coursera. You have a virtual machine on which you have a Virtual Studio code running. And here you can clone the repository. Voila. And then do all your Git commands and have your GitHub repository here that will be updated. Very efficient. So, those are the good practices. Here I illustrated the tasks and the sprint. The sprint defined here in your Kanban board. For example, this will take uh, place in sprint one. First of all, you use uh, the good practice of test driven development. This will be used uh, to create uh, microservices and uh, uh, the test will have to cover at least 95% of the code. What does this mean in practice? Let's go here. You have a folder called tests and you test routes. Those are the routes or the API routes. And here you have them, okay? In the code, There we go. Here you have the folder tests. Here is your module where you will write the test. So what you expect from each function or each API. Say that uh, you do uh, a delete or an add or create user. 
you will have a status code, HTTP code, in return. Uh, say that I want to get an account and the code has to be 200, we assert equal the status code equal to 100. And this is reflected voila, into the API. Index, I create, this is not 200, it's 201, but get gives me 200. Let's get back to the main page. After you coded uh, your scripts with the test development, uh, development approach, you will add continuous integration to the repository. So you will make pull requests. That's why it's very important to install immediately Git in uh, your virtual machine, like if it was on your computer. For that, I advise to use uh, SSH method. So clone this using SSH repository. Pardon, SSH link. Uh, use uh, the an SSH key, but you will find also a tutorial how to do this uh, in uh, the description. And then you can make pull requests, and this will run using pipelines, which are called actions. All this is on GitHub, and. You put it into practice in this second sprint. Not only CI CD, but also security. Those are good practices. Keep your code safe. And you have tools which will check for vulnerabilities. This was done in the module three, week three. Okay, you did your code, you did your development, time for the operation. At this point, you have to build a Docker image and to deploy your microservice using Kubernetes. For that also, you do all here, okay? You create, here I haven't cloned it yet, but you create your Docker and then you deploy using the service, everything already given by IBM. Finally, you will use tools like Tecton, and uh, uh, OpenShift, and for this you create uh, the YAML, or to say in simple terms, let's call them instruction files, YAML manifests, that you also find here in the folder deploy. All instructions. I don't get this time too deep in the code, otherwise this video will take uh, hours and nobody has a time for that but the bottom line is this is a good close for the certification you put everything into practice you revise all what you have learned and here you have a good primer that will bring you to the next level for the devops and software engineering okay if you liked it, please subscribe the channel or give me a like.